Hello, Steve. Today is Wednesday, April the 30th. And I just finished watching the San Jose Sharks blow a 3 0 series lead to the LA Kings. It was just a feeling of sheer agony watching that third period. The Sharks were in a completely desperate situation and couldn't generate anything positive. They literally kept firing shots towards the LA goal and nothing went in. And now the team is faced with another offseason, another heartbreaking finish to the playoffs. It's very likely there's going to be some major changes done to this team. Which of course is unfortunate if you consider the fact that they've been one of the most successful franchises in the regular season for such a long time. But all anybody will ever remember is their playoff failures. There is one thing that provides a glimmer of hope for the future. In 2010, the Boston Bruins similarly blew a 3-0 series lead against the Philadelphia Flyers. It was the ultimate in shame, but they overcame that, and the very next year they won the Stanley Cup. I'm not saying the Sharks are going to go out next year and win the Stanley Cup, but it provides hope that even the biggest of adversity can be overcome. Now, throughout the duration of this video, you might hear the meows of some kitten friends. There she is. And that's because I'm taking care of my friend's two cats as he goes to remove. So you may hear them chime in from time to time with their wonderful singing meow. In your last video, you're looking for some advice as to some choices you're going to be making. And overall, I think you might enjoy both options for different reasons. As you said, becoming a professor would be sort of a dream of yours. So even though you said it would be a lot of work to do, in the end, it sounds like a worthwhile goal to pursue. The only challenge to that would be the financial aspect. And that's because pursuing a PhD can be a big financial investment and not even a guaranteed job in the end. As for the teacher's college route, you should really think about whether or not you want to be a high school or elementary school teacher. Because if your heart wasn't truly in it, if there's one job that you can't do without having your heart fully in it, it's teaching. And that's because teaching is a profession where you put in a lot of time and effort. And that time and effort is only worthwhile if it's something you're really interested in doing. With that being said, even if you don't have that much of an interest in becoming a classroom teacher, there are some merits of pursuing a Bachelor of Education. For starters, a Bachelor of Education opens doors to jobs in a lot of areas related to education. So not necessarily in classroom teaching, but in related areas. Tutoring, for example, would be something you can go into. So overall, Bachelor of Education degree can open quite a few doors. It's not a decision to make lightly, though, because there's a big financial investment you have to put into teacher's college. When you're doing your practice teaching, you don't get paid, and you certainly do not have time to do anything else. So it's basically a period of your life where you're not making any money, but you're pouring money into something. One thing I will say about a Bachelor of Education is I think you would really enjoy the in-school part. Even though a lot of things you end up learning are pretty common knowledge anyways. I found that a lot of people who have done a Bachelor of Education have not enjoyed the university part of it. But a lot of those people were not really into the process of learning. And the only way to enjoy the university part of a Bachelor of Education degree is to enjoy the process of learning. The Bachelor of Education degree is also a very social degree, and the friends you make there are going to last for quite a while. And I found that aspect to be a very worthwhile part of the process. So overall, it's a worthwhile option to consider, but it does have its limitations. And as I said, the main one is financial. In particular, I really enjoyed my time at Nipissing University. It's an overall wonderful university, and it's all held in one building. And the town of North Bay has some of the best coffee I've ever had. So if you do end up in North Bay, do enjoy Twid's coffee from time to time. So overall, both things you're considering would be great options. The limitations of both would only seem to be financial and time investment. But if you play your cards right, you could have huge rewards. So let me know if you have any additional questions about this. To finish, on to Battleship. Your previous shot, D2, was another hit. My next shot is E9. So it's time to say goodbye to the poor San Jose Sharks. And as I seem to say year after year with this team, there's always next year.